afternoon, guys. Jay Walker here. I wanted to give you a little update of what we got coming up on the channel. We're gonna have a, uh, this is gonna be a little sneak peek of the C8 Corvette that I was uh, recently in over this past weekend. I was up at the race shop up at Vengeance Racing getting some maintenance done to the car. And we was kind of just outside, you know, shooting the breeze. They had their C8 parked out front. And the general manager, Mr. Eddie Blackwell, who we call All Motor, comes up to me and is like, hey, you want to go for a ride? I'm like, hell yeah, let me get my camera. So, you know, I'm sorry. I want to apologize up front that this video isn't as technical as most of my other videos, but I couldn't pass up that opportunity. And um, Eddie went over a lot of uh, specs of the car and some information uh, details about what the company wants to do with the car, future plans with it. So uh, here's he and I's conversation. All right, guys, this is a little freestyle. This is not normally how we do it, but this was such a spur of the moment I had to take advantage of the opportunity. I'm with my man, Mr. Eddie, right here. How you doing? And he is gonna give me a ride in this C8 Corvette. Twin turbo. Twin turbo. Vengeance racing style. Now, have you guys got any word on when they're gonna even do the tune or now we're just kind of waiting on that um so it's just a matter of time yeah this thing sounds good it does that i tell you what the, the cf platform is so nice you yeah know, just you know the dash is low you know mm -hmm. you're forward in the car where it really handles well yeah you know, especially with the transmission Right. You know, the dual clutch. Is this an 8 speed auto or a 10 or? I think it's an 8 speed. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I did a uh, piece on the C7 a few weeks back. My, my, my buddy was selling it. That car was great. And I, 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 had, I actually had a, a video of this car in it talking about the C8s and I was like man I can imagine how the C8 is compared to the C7 the C7 was so great right and I've heard nothing but great things about this car here it's, it's definitely a great platform and you know this is you know in the beginning when they were talking about you know the the rear engine or the mid-engine car and all the changes you know a lot of the Cor Corvette people were part two you know happy about it right off the bat right i'm telling you this is where the car needed to go right this is the next level and you know once you drive the car and experience the car mm -hmm. i mean it's such a driver's car it handles yeah. so well just everything yeah it rides great i'm just it, it does man yeah this car's actually been lowered probably i don't know an inch to inch and a half okay and it uh does have a set of aftermarket it's got forge line wheels on it okay but you know, a little bigger, a little wider. Yeah, but it does. <laughs> yeah. General Ricard is handled so well. It does. I mean, it's just, man. Yeah, they just maxed out with the C7s, I thought. They did so much, everything that you could do to that car. It's like you couldn't really make it no better anymore. It was no, pretty much maxed out. Yeah. You just, you know, you, it's moving the engine and you know just changing the total design it's just what had to happen right you know, i just i just love the car it's you know i've taken it uh ron's actually been nice enough i've taken it driven it a whole weekend really yeah uh, and done some things <laughs> and it's just you know it's just it's a driver's car it's so pleasurable just get out and cruise right maybe some winding roads and different things oh yeah know? man just roll the windows down and you don't even need to turn the radio on just, nah, just get out to the screen yep I love the inside how they did the, I mean, you could really see, I hate to say this, but a little bit better than the, uh, than the C8, C7 actually. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, because the engine's not up here, you know, they, right. the dash is down lower. Right. So you're, you're sitting forward in the car so you can see better. Right. You know, just so many different things, so many improvements. And the, and the C7 is a fine car. Yeah, it, you it know, was. I'm not, I'm not saying anything about yeah. it. Yeah but you know this is definitely the next level yeah a lot of people were really griping about these not even coming with the manuals i mean of course you couldn't you really had no way to put it but i guess everybody's the dual clutch is the thing to go now yeah nowadays it is because i've seen a couple of people that 
driven this car saying that it drives probably better than the you know McLaren P1 or mm -hmm. or some of the uh, Lambos out there. Yes. You know, and that's you know like your you know the the supercars that this that the CH competing with. Mm -hmm. You know, they all have that. You know, uh, you know the Lambos. You know the McLarens. You know, your Porsches, you know, they have the, the PDKs in them, which is a, mm -hmm. a fine transmission. This is, you know. <laughs> this thing is really planted. Dude, it is. It Plan is. I mean, planted to the ground. It man. is. I can imagine that. Ron, with Ron having this car, has he even gotten it sideways, just kind of, or does it just handle that well where it's kind of hard to even, I guess, I mean, get it loose on the back end? Yeah, it, it handles really well. You know, we, we hadn't really pushed this car. You know, we this uh, turbo kit is like a, it's a joint venture with uh, Huron Speed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway, this was like the, you know, the test bed. They okay. built the kit, they put it on the car, it's been on there probably for a couple of months now, okay. two to three months, and you know we're just going to leave it, and then when tuning's available, and a uh, kit like this, <clears throat> it's you know it's basically something that you would probably come in, and you would bolt on the car, mm -hmm. and then you would just do tuning, and then the car would make say 650, mm -hmm. 700 horse, okay. something like that. So you know it just the cars make about you know right around. 430, 440 to the tires. Right. You know, stock. In stock form. Yeah. So you bring that up, you know, to, you know, 650 to 700. You know, yeah. that would be, you know, I think it would put the car, it would make the car a great yeah. driver car. Yeah. You know, give some more power, you know. Yeah, because this thing was lighting it fast just out the box from, from what everybody was saying. Yes, it is. You know, you know. Did y'all run you did y'all run in and a half mile? We did, but just to see what it would do, kind of. Uh, well, we we did, but it had the turbos on it, and actually, uh, the guy from thirteen twenty, he rode with me. Okay. When I done it, but I didn't really push the car. Right. Because you know you can't do that because with right. the turbos, even though we just got three pound springs, you're still getting a little bit of boost, mm -hmm. and you know if you. It's just not designed for right, that. and we don't want to hurt the car. Yeah, right, right. We've basically done the kit just for fitment, and we drive it around, make sure we don't have any leaks, any mm -hmm. rattles, and just see how it, you know, it works out. Okay. Have it on there for two or three months, and we just, you know, Ron drives it or someone does, you know, right. 50, 70 mile little trips, just see how it works out. Right. If there's any kind of changes that we need to do before it actually comes in production, we want to be, you know, right. proactive on right. that. Which is normally what you guys do. Y'all normally test the car out and put it to its max to see right. what the car can handle and all that. When right. I first heard they was, you know, people was trying to put the twin turbos and I kind of heard them. Of course on YouTube, that really doesn't do it justice. You know, I probably didn't like some of the exhaust sounds. I just thought it kind of sounded weird. But right. Now that I'm riding this, <laughs> personally, <laughs> I mean, yeah. as you can tell on the grin of my face, it sounds amazing. And it's not loud, obnoxious, I mean, nope. it's just it's perfect. It's, it it sounds like a Corvette, to be honest yeah. with you. It does sound like a tuna car. And, uh, I know he's gonna have fun with that. Oh man. yeah, that, that car there. Oh yeah, it's got a 2650 Maggie on it. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a beast. Yeah, we're also working with Dobson, mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, with the transmission and stuff, mm -hmm. and, you know, working on, like, you know, enhancing the clutches and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, everyone's anticipating that, uh, you know, there's going to be limitations right. on that. So once we've already started working with them, on you know going in that directions to do enhancements for that so when you actually upgrade the you know the horsepower mm -hmm. with the engine and stuff then you can uh, also we'll have some availability to upgrade the trans and the dual clutch system nice nice yeah seems like it just has a lot of room for just to to really play with oh that's cool yeah it is you can see yeah, you can see in front of you there Mm. Yeah, see so if you see what, you know, 
make sure you don't. Man, bump. So yes, when you pull it in your garage, you're trying to nose it up. Right. And you can't see it, so make sure you don't bump the wall. Man. Are you? Or That's your, cool. or your wife or girlfriend don't bump the wall. Yeah, the wife <laughs> normally she doesn't need to. Uh, she has a little front sensors, but yeah, I've never seen the front camera like this. Yeah. So yeah, that's it's, cool. There's no, it's pretty cold, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they thought of a lot of things on this car. They really did. It's really nice. I mean, the interior is very nice. It's, it's, I mean, you don't even feel like you're in a Corvette. It's very nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed that ride. Hey, bro. man, I definitely appreciate it. Man, yeah. It. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, uh, Anytime, bro. You know, that's a little short take for you guys. Uh, we'll catch you next week.